Texas State University student says that she was sexually assaulted two separate times over the weekend. The report prompted university police to send out an emergency text alert to all students and faculty early this morning, but without much detail. Texans Lauren Landman talks about talks with students about safety on campus. The only way someone can get in is if they like follow someone that has an ID. Early Tuesday morning, Texas State University police sent out this text alerting students that a woman reported being sexually assaulted two times over the weekend in an on-campus dorm. I was like, oh, great, this happened again. Texas State Junior Alyssa Wakefield is part of the university student-run organization Not On My Campus, a group working to raise awareness of sexual assaults at the university. She says she hears the stories often, but this one caught her attention. I was surprised that we got a text because all the time it happens without a text and I hear about it or uh, my friends hear about it. She says the text was positive because students are at least beginning to report the assaults. But for some, the alert created more questions than answers. Their alerts aren't like the best. Many students told KXAN the alert was far too generic. It should just give us more feedback to know what's going on. The university hasn't said where the assault happened, if the victim knows the attacker or if police even know who the man is. For Alyssa, she wishes the university would be more open, and if it can't give details, then at least some useful information. More emails about how to prevent it in the first place instead of just, oh yeah, this happened. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. The woman reports she was assaulted on Friday and again on Saturday. The university police department will not say much beyond they're investigating. We did some digging into the number of sexual assaults on the Texas State campus. Department of Public Safety records show three incidents were investigated in 2017 by Texas State Campus Police. That went down from 2016 when seven incidents were reported. From 2010 to 2017, 16 total cases were investigated.